Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here Pisces and see what's going on uh, with you today. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Pisces, so right away here, someone's trying to aggravate the hell out of you and get you involved in drama and bullshit, and you don't give a shit. You don't have time for it, nor do you care. You actually think it's kind of entertaining and funny, and you have so much clarity and awareness about it. It's like when the, you know, it, it, I don't know, someone's trying to project their issues onto you to get you to react and respond the way they actually are about you. And so you're like steps ahead of them so you know and you understand and that's what gets them, you know, irritated. It starts out with someone really ego, desperate, making attempts that aren't really working for them out of greed, trying to go towards a beginning in a chapter with you that's forceful, that's not working for them. There's nowhere they can go, they don't want to either whatever things that they know they have to deal with and take care of they don't and then it makes them not want to try that hard or work on anything with their job their life their career path their business they don't want to make anything long term they may not be good at business but it's like you know there's basics you know and they don't even want to do the basics you may have had a conversation with them or you're just well aware and no longer frustrated with whoever this is They're being greedy for money and material and trying to find a way to get it out of you. For some of you, it could be, I get heavy masculine. It could be an ex and or family members or a father figure that you're not close to or are, or are, but you're realizing who they are and how they are, if that makes sense. And it could be someone that's a friend or used to be a friend. You guys may have had a thing in the past or, you know, you try to do business with them, but then it's just like such a pain in the ass. Okay. Yeah. Whatever it may be, I don't know if you've blocked them already or they themselves just keep uh, stumbling and blocking themselves and hiccuping themselves. It's like once you have the, the it's, it's when you have all this awareness and clarity, you, like I said, you could have talked to them or not. I don't know. And that's when they kind of go a little crazy and don't know what the hell's going on. To make a decision and a choice for them, it's just not possible for them. It makes them more moody and emotional and irritated and emotionally disconnected. And then they choose to even spiral more and get into more issues and problems and allow their life to get more chaotic as it, than it already is. And they choose to just be that way and be destructive and want to continue living their life this way. They could be cheating on who they're dealing with out of lust and sex problems or addictions or whatever. For some of you, it's two people. It could be parental figures for some of you, like greedy parental figures that you're not close to anymore or family members that are trying to get money out of you. 
because you're the breadwinner, you do well, or it's a couple, okay? They're in a relationship and they don't like you. They hate you. But well, one of them doesn't like you more than the other, but they're connected and tied into it and you don't have time for it, okay? Does that make sense? So either or, but it shows them spiraling and being destructive and not wanting to do anything. And then once again, it makes them be more greedy for money material, but not to get up and do anything about it. Um, they don't want to really work that hard or try that hard. And they're just getting obsessive about money. And then you show up very independent. You could be an entrepreneur, or own your own business or have one, or just do so well with jobs, multiple job sources of income. You show up strong, independent, focused, hardworking, ready to go, and just minding your own business, literally. Okay. Because you're independent and focused and working and living your life, this is where they choose to spiral emotionally and get real deceptive though. So I don't know if you guys are closer in contact, but they do get obsessive with spying, lurking, stalking, creeping. Okay. Um, against you or towards you, whatever about you. Excuse me. Excuse me. But they get in this energy where they want to, they're not getting anything out of this, but they spy, lurk, and creep, and get deceptive and obsessive to try to get information out of you to then know what to do or say to message you to manipulate you, okay? But whatever they've been doing, deep research and study and stalking and spying and creeping about, put them in the biggest depression episode of their life. They feel more like shit now. They don't know what the hell's going on. They confuse themselves. They want to stay bitter. They want to hold the grudge. They don't want to heal. And then they hang on to all of that as, as, as painful, as burdensome and stressful as it is. They, they, this is how they choose to leave this and be this way. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thank you. Bye.